Hey guys, what is going on? This is Sam. In today's video, we are taking a look at OXO 2, a completely reimagined and redesigned version of the previous version of OXO from iOS 5 and 6. So OXO 2 is now completely, like I said before, redone, ready to go for iOS 7. And just from my first impressions and using it for only about six, seven, maybe even eight hours, it is absolutely stunning. Its functionality is unparalleled from any other iOS 7 jailbreak tweak out there. So let's go ahead and start off with what OXO is if you've never heard of it. And you're just like, well, what is OXO exactly? So from its very root, from its very core, OXO is a replacement for the iOS application switcher. And that's merely all it was in iOS 5 and 6. If you remember OXO 1 from back then a couple months ago when it was released, I think around some time in February, March, April, sometime last year in 2013, that's all it was. It was an app switcher. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm just saying they nailed the functionality of the app switcher in iOS 5 and 6. But that's all OXO was. It stopped right at the app switcher. And OXO 2 takes an entirely new approach. It really iOS itself. And OXO 2 is absolutely stunning. From every animation, from every icon, from the direct implementation of OXO 2, it feels unparalleled, like I said before, and it's seamlessly integrated into iOS 7. So let's take a look at OXO for the first time. If we swipe up in the middle of our screen, OXO comes up with little app previews similar to the default iOS app switcher, only we've got control center in the app switcher in one because as you know, by swiping up on the middle of your screen, you will lose direct access to control center. However, do not fear because control center is completely built in to go alongside with OXO 2's new application switcher. And at first it looks like control center is broken up and you're missing a lot of stuff. However, I want you to take a closer look going from the top and bottom of the two separated control center sections. You have airdrop and airplay when it's available, all of your toggles, your quick launch down below, play button, fast forward, rewind button, and your brightness and value sliders have been redesigned in a circular form. And I'm going to tell you why these circular forms are better. It is because you don't really have to move your finger as far. You know, if you want to go from the left to the right of the screen, you have to have a lot more effort to move your finger from left to right, left to right, put it in the right spot. However, with these new brightness and volume sliders, you can get it exactly where you want because of the new dialogue on screen. You can say it, you can see it actually does say brightness and you can adjust it to the exact notch that you want. Also, the same applies for volume. You can adjust that to exactly where you want, and it fits in very well with this new OXO 2. I really like those new volume and brightness sliders. So that was a look at OXO's multi-center. However, without these other two additional features that I'm going to show you guys right now, I definitely can say I would not like OXO 2 as much as I like it today. The next feature we are taking a look at is called Quick Switcher. Quick Switcher allows you to quickly go from application to application with one simple and intuitive swipe gesture. So I'll show you what I mean right now. Let's say that you are happily browsing on the iOS app store when you get a change of heart and decide you want to launch the settings app for some particular reason, maybe to change some of OXO 2's settings. Normally to do this without OXO 2 installed on stock iOS, you would have to quit out of the app store entirely, locate the settings app on your home screen that you may have just used but you forgot where it was like I probably do, and then you have to launch it from there. But what if you could do that in all in one swipe gesture? What if it didn't have to be that tedious to just launch a second application on your phone? With OXO 2 that is entirely possible. Swiping up from the bottom left corner of your device, going over to whatever app you want, and then releasing will immediately direct you there. And that was very fast. I mean, pretty much in one second, you can go from app to app using OXO 2 and the new Quick Switcher. It's an awesome new mode that I think all of you guys out there will definitely enjoy once you have purchased OXO 2. But OXO 2 didn't stop there once again. It went past multi-center and it also went past Quick Switcher. With OXO 2, you also get access to Hot Corners, with this, you can quickly go from the application to your home screen. Let's say, instead of waiting for the slow iOS 7 animation, just go from the bottom right of your screen, bam, you're back on the home screen just like that. I'll show that one more time right now just to show you how to do it. Once again, when you are in any application on your device, go to the bottom right corner, swipe up, and there you go, you are back on your home screen. I really enjoy the animations in OXO 2 just because they are so fluid, they are so embedded, and they feel a part of stock iOS. It just, 
I can't say it enough how well made, how well developed, and how well thought out OXO2 has been. And I'm very glad that they didn't rush releases. It's not missing features. It doesn't feel like anything is missing out on this tweak. And that is definitely a plus for OXO2 in A3 tweaks. So guys, that is my review of OXO2. I might have a couple other videos out in the coming days describing some of these settings having to do with OXO2, but all by itself, this review is the main functions of OXO2. It is an awesome tweak. Like I said before, I cannot emphasize that enough. So if you guys out there are interested in getting this for yourselves, putting this on your iPhone or iPod touch, it is available for only $1.99 in Cydia's Big Boss repo if you purchase the previous version of OXO, OXO1, I guess you could say. And if you didn't buy OXO1 at all and you're just going straight to OXO2, it is available for $3.99. Once again, this is definitely worth it because of all the features inside of OXO2. So if you guys enjoyed watching the video, you are more than welcome to click the like button down below. And if you want to see more coverage on OXO, such as some additional hidden features, make sure to subscribe to my channel down below, iUpdateOS. That would be very much appreciated. And I think you guys would really enjoy the content that I put on my channel related to jailbreaking. So once again, thank you for watching this video review of OXO. I hope you did enjoy it. And I will see you guys in my next video.